Hey, this is Tim with Expert Power Wash. Today I wanted to go through what the soft wash system is. So I've had a lot of questions. How does it work? What is it? What exactly does it do? Uh, a lot of people don't understand how it works. And we build these expensive pieces of equipment and I just assume that everybody knows if they're looking at these, but that's not true. So let's take a look at this thing and I'll show you how it works. All right, we're gonna take a look at our soft wash system. We kind of have a more of a deluxe type of soft wash setup here and I'll show you how that works. So it's a mixing station. You got a rinse valve there. If you're new to this channel or you're new to soft washing, a lot of these little knobs and numbers and none of this will make a whole lot of sense to you. So hopefully during this video, I can show you how it works. And if you have questions, drop them in the comments down below. But uh, let's go look at a simpler setup here. I'll give you guys a full walkthrough on this skid in another video. So here's a real simple soft wash setup. You got a hose reel. A lot of the pieces for this, because it is for sale in our store, is gonna be in that box, but you got the wand there. This runs off a of battery. You got a charging system. And then there's the pump. So the output of the pump is going to go up towards the hose reel out to the gun and then you spray, of course, the input. It's gonna pull out of uh, this filter here. So this is going to drop in whatever tank that you choose to use. Uh, this would be considered batch mixing. A lot of people, if they're going to do a roof, they're gonna go 50% water, 50% bleach, and they're going to just drop that slotted PVC, bleach resistant filter down in there. One of the things here that I would caution people on this was built by another manufacturer. This hose clamp here needs to come off of here. Uh, if you drop this down into bleach, I got another video on my channel, uh, it will ruin your bleach. So this will be pulled off here before we give it to the next customer as a precaution. Hopefully that's all making sense. It sucks up your mix. You can put some soap in there, a surfactant. Some people don't use soap. Uh, we do. We have our own soap here at Expert Power Wash. Uh, spent a long time developing it. I'll go over that in another video, but uh, yeah, this is how this works. Real simple setup. This can be bolted on to a trailer, an existing pressure washing setup, or in the back of a truck. Poly braid hose there. You can see the other side of the pump. This is a 12 volt pump. In that battery box, you'll wanna have a marine battery. Marine batteries are made to be recharged over and over again. They can be ran low and charged all the way back up. There's other battery options, but that is kind of the standard in the industry. If you don't want a batch mix, every time to go spray a roof, you don't want to put water in there and bleach in there and try to figure out how much soap you need to put in the mix. That's when you step up to something like this. So this, you want to have three tanks. You want to have a water tank, a soap tank, and a chemical tank. Uh, this mixing system here, you can add a, a second soap if you'd like to do that. We usually just block that off and then put our three-way rinse valve down there. So let's go over to the water tank. This is more of a complex skid. This is one of the skids here that we build. You see two water tanks there. These are tied together. I don't want to lose you guys. Let me show you how that works. You got two tanks. They're tied together with an inch and a half hose that runs in between. Inch and a half, 90 barbs down there, bulkheads. What that does is it kind of baffles the water. So with having two tanks, you're going to reduce the slosh. So let's take a look at the water individually here. So this is our mixing station. Let's go over to the water. These are Uniseal's poly braid hose that runs down into the tank. I'm going to pull this off and hopefully we can get a view in there so you can kind of see the way that we build these, we like a straight through 
flow on our hose all the way down to the slotted PVC filters. Of course, we got a piece of PVC that holds it down towards the bottom so it doesn't pull up air. So that's gonna pull water. And keep in mind your 12 volt pumps back here and it's sucking in through this mixing system. And you can control the amount of uh, liquid that's being sucked up through this manifold block here just by controlling the metering valves. Water is usually 100% on. We always keep that 100% on. And then next one here is soap. This is the soap tank. So let's follow this line. You got a quarter inch line down there that's not hooked up yet on this skid. But what it'll come up to here and then drill into the top of here and it'll pull soap. Next one here is chemical or bleach, SH, or whatever you want to refer to that as. We have this whole complicated system here for being able to rinse this system out. But let's just say, let's simplify this for a moment. This is bleach and it's going to run down over here and it's going to pull bleach. Same thing, you're going to have the uniseal here. Straight through plumbing, slotted PVC, bleach resistant filter down there. No hose clamps. And this is where you can really mix it up. We'll go back to the soap. Usually when we're running our systems, we'll run it somewhere around here, one or a little less than one. And then as far as the bleach, let's go through this a little bit. If you're wa washing like siding or something, you'd maybe go to one a heavy pre-treat, post-treat, you can go one and a half to two. Just be careful you don't oversaturate things. And then some of you guys in the Midwest, East Coast can probably wash a roof somewhere right in about here. This is the Pacific Northwest. We have the jacket all the way up to between five and six for our mossy roofs out here. But uh, this is where you adjust the amount of flow, the amount of bleach that's being pulled up through that mixing system. And then up through this manifold block here, it sucks it up through into the pump and then out of the pump, the outlet side, it goes on over there, all the way over to the hose reel. Let's take a look at that over there. Half inch hose. We like these Sutner 510 guns here. This is half inch crimped onto the hose. You can do cheap, you can do this the cheaper way. You can get a half inch barb, you can hose clamp it. Uh, we've just found that those types of things tend to be failure points in the future, but we won't get bogged down there. Uh, J-Rod, here you're going to have a zero degree, 15 degree next, 25 degree, and a 40 degree. And these are just different spray patterns. You wanna be careful. I see a lot of people come into the shop, they just wanna match up nozzles because they like them and they're gonna put it on their system. These really need to be dialed into whatever type of system that you're setting up. If you guys have questions about this, consult a professional. I'm not saying that I know it all, but we've built a few of these and found that it's very important to make sure you have the right nozzles. Uh, for instance, if you're running 3.0 nozzles on one of those big old seven gallon a minute pumps over there, you're gonna blow fuses like crazy. If you're running 4.0 nozzles on the 5.3s, you're gonna lose a little bit of a uh, distance. So just some little things to watch out for. Let's go back on over here. This is a seven gallon, 100 PSI pump. Got quick connects on there, on and off switch. Everything that we do is heavy duty, top of the line, down to the hoses. It's all Kiri Tech poly braid hose. This is all fancy stuff. After building about 50 or so of these, uh, we found that this type of stuff works the best for our applications. But uh, you can wire these things with a lot of things that you can find you know, locally at hardware stores. And a lot of them will sell poly braid hoses and things like that. But uh, I think that about concludes it. I'll, if I didn't lose you too much, I'll 
attempt to explain this three-way valve here. So I showed you how the bleach pulls in, the way that we have ours running. So it's gonna go through here. And move the handle so you can see here. And it goes into here. So if I select chemical, I'm gonna pull chemical in through that. If I turn it down here, water, I'm gonna pull water in. And the way that we accomplish that is we have two water ports going in here. One is going to the water side of the mixer and the other is going to the rinse side of the bleach valve. To some people, this is super simple. To others, this is complex. Hopefully, I mean, I'm explaining this to where you guys can all understand how a soft wash metering valve system works. All right, I'll put uh, some of my information down here in the bottom in the description. Uh, PressureWashingSkids.com. We build these things. We've built a ton of soft wash systems. If you guys are looking for something like this, like a mixing manifold, um, any type of system that you're looking for, we likely have it for you. All right, guys. Appreciate you tuning in.